Mr. Franks. Please direct all your questions to my personal attorney. Mickey, don't say another word. I am lead counsel for Mr. Franks. Mr. Franks, you made some threats against Sid Ross last night. you damn right. I don't answer that! Detective, address your questions to me, please. Thank you. Uh, where were... Where was your client between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. last night? He was minding his own damn business. My client is an upstanding citizen and a pillar of the community. Not to mention, he's also one funny mother fudge sickle. Hey, watch your language. What happened, Mickey? Did Sid tell you you were fired so you snapped and killed him? Hold on, what? Sid, Sid's dead? Whoa, hey, oh, oh, whoa, uh, I, I didn't kill him. I noticed you're no longer seeking counsel from your attorney. You know, that, that's, uh, that's, that's just an act. I mean, I'm not crazy. Just spent a year of my life convincing people that I was. Yeah, and you've done a pretty good job of it. I'm an actor, OK? <laughs> I have an actor that's tied to a long-term contract that's uh, not exactly covering his expenses. Are you saying you were trying to get fired? I'm saying Sid controls my career. Because of him, I'm missing out on major movie roles. OK, look, crazy or not, you still made some pretty serious threats against Sid, and hours later, he ended up dead. OK, you're asking my whereabouts, right? Mm -hmm. okay, I was upstairs at the rooftop bar, getting wasted all night. And then I stumbled down to the wardrobe and props room at about 3 AM and passed out. I had just woken up when you guys came in. Plus, I had no idea Sid was even dead. So how could I have had anything to do with it? OK, OK. Look, I might know who did. OK. We're listening.